Halo Infinite's campaign pits Master Chief against many of his classic alien adversaries, including brutes, banished elites, and of course, those troublesome hunters. Hunters are one of the most challenging enemies you'll face in Halo Infinite, so we've gathered a few suggestions on how to approach them, in addition to important information about their behaviour. Here's the best ways to take down hunters in Halo Infinite. As with previous Halo games, hunters always travel in pairs. While they don't have any energy shields to get through, they are exceptionally strong enemies with plates of armour all over their bodies. Their plasma arm cannon can shoot explosive projectiles similar to the fuel rod from previous games, as well as rapid fire seeking bullets. In Halo Infinite you'll come across two different kinds of hunters. More often than not, you'll run into the classic blue hunters, who, while certainly no easy foe on their own, are sweet teddy bears compared to the elite banished variants. These red armoured hunters are especially aggressive and are best fought from a distance, but be warned, their red energy weapons can arc up and travel quite far, so be sure to keep moving to avoid those shots. Before you engage hunters, evaluate your loadout and consider the space you'll have to fight them in. Unsurprisingly, the best weapons you can use against hunters are power weapons. Bringing a sniper, skewer or a rocket launcher to a hunter fight will make it a lot less challenging. When you can't get one of those, your next best bet is shock weapons, like the disruptor, shock rifle or dynamo grenades. Shock weapons do damage over time, and if the charge is built up enough, the shock can stun your target. Keep in mind too that once you've dealt enough damage to a hunter, it will go into a rage state. You can tell they're going berserk when you see their eyes glow and they start charging you. They'll also do this if you kill one of the pair, the law being that you just killed one of a bonded pair. But most importantly for you, that means you need to be ready for an even more aggressive enemy. Your main focus is going to be avoiding letting them get into melee range. Now that we've covered the basics, let's hit some quick tips. A hunter's weak spot is on their back and sides. Shoot for the exposed orange clusters of cords on their bodies. You can see this orange flesh on them at the start of a fight, but if you hit their armor plates with explosives, they'll detach, which will make their weak spot much easier to hit. There's usually some sort of heavy weapon nearby hunter spawn locations. Scan and look around to see what's available to you. Melee weapons are also helpful if you can get in behind them and strike their weak spots. But be careful, they'll hit back. Energy swords can take down an elite hunter in just a couple of hits once you remove its backplate and you hit them in their weak spot, so the risk is often worth the quick victory. Your speed against these lumbering foes is one of your best assets. If you're low on health, don't be afraid to get behind cover quickly by using your grapple shot. Hunters can jump, but they can't climb. Use ledges and other tall structures in the environment to your advantage. You can often shoot over an edge, then walk back behind cover to let the ledge take the plasma damage instead of you. Grenades do decent damage against hunters, but they can toss away grenades that you throw right at them with their shield. Try to land grenades at their feet if you're not confident that you'll stick a plasma or spike grenade. If you're fighting hunters in the open world, consider loading up a Razorback with marines and driving them to the fight. You can throw down a drop wall for them and then you can use the grapple shot to get behind the hunters and attack their weak spot while they are distracted by your marines. Remember to use a drop wall for cover when you're fighting in an open combat area. If you can find a high spot hunters can't reach, you can also place a drop wall and land a fair number of shots before it's destroyed. Nearby fusion coils can make great impromptu grenades. Use these whenever you can, but be careful about getting shot while you're holding one or when you're standing near a stockpile. Hopefully these tips can help you make quick work of these gigantic foes. For more on Halo Infinite, we can show you where to find every hidden skull, or give you our tips for making the most out of the new grapple shot. For everything else on Xbox, PC and beyond, keep it here on IGN.